Hello, Pepto Barbie. Why are there so much hate, so much warm surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much hate? Come real quick and do me a favor. Can you hit the like button? Please hit share and hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you don't have to. It's not a requirement, but if it is, really appreciate it. The information is in the box down below. And thank you from the bottom of But with all my one of those ways, whatever delay you're looking at the screen right now. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, thank you from the bottom of with all my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I apologize, guys. Um, this is a part two, okay? So if you didn't see part one, please go watch part one. Um, alright, so I'm gonna pick up where we left off because there's not much story space left in here, alright? So, yeah, like I was saying, um, this, this, this feminine here, or it could be an asshole or feminine, I'm not sure. And it's a good person, though. They have no parts in this inheritance that was stolen from you, all right? Um, they, they just knew about it, okay? And they were scared, um, to come forward with information because they, because they know what this, what these people have been doing to you. And they were afraid that they were going to, you know, either, because they're, they are, they're a good person, um, but they know about this and they're getting, you know, you know, they're, they're getting divine, um, they're, they've been getting divine, uh, guidance to come forward with this information but they've been ignoring it they've been but your spirit team you know has been like on them about this um and they feel bad because they are a good person they know what's been happening to you but now um but they just they've been afraid to say anything because they you know they they know what these people have been doing to you they're afraid of them doing it to them um and you know they just they didn't know what to do but now you know they're going to get this guidance, like, you know, you're, you know, an angel's going to come to them, um, they're going to let them know they need to make this right, because even though they have nothing to do with it, they still know about this, and even just because they know about it, um, their hands are dirty, they're caught up in this, they're, they can be just as guilty, because they're guilty by association, they sat back and watched, um, this happen to you, and didn't make anything, I'm not saying that, I don't know if they're going to go to the authorities, or they're just going to come to you, they're either doing, the authorities already know about this, um, but she's, he or she is going to be coming forward with information either to you and or to the authorities, okay? Um, because she's being divinely, he or she is being divinely, they're in deep emotional pain about this because they realize that, you know what I mean, it was um, unjust what, the, what was done to you and they would just been afraid, okay? But they're being divinely guided to come forward, or, you know, to give you a message about this hidden, there's some sort of hidden investments or some hidden stocks, bonds, something like that and an inheritance that was stolen from you, all right, and they've been knowing about it, so they're coming forward, they're going to come in with a message and give you information about this to come balance it out, okay, um, they're going to listen to this divine guide and say, see who this witch bitch is and how evil she is, and these other people, um, they know, they know your spiritual leader, your spiritual gifted, um, you, um, and they're coming in with some truth and clarity, okay, they're divinely, they're being divinely guided, this is what they're planning on doing, they're coming in with this information, um, to balance the scales out, because they don't want to get caught up, um, because like I said, anybody that has any involvement, even if they don't even, even if they're not involved in it, but they knew about it, they're just as guilty, and they can literally do federal time for it, because they've been, they, the authorities know about this, they've been investigated, so, especially if they're sitting there, they're talking about it to this person, um, this person knows, so they're gonna get in trouble about it, they're gonna get, they can, they can literally do federal time because of this, so, the, um, they don't know they're a good person they don't deserve to be in prison they just you know they're afraid for their lives so they're coming forward with the information they're they're, they're being divinely guided to do this um and they're going to so please don't be mad at this person when they come forward they were just scared for their life you know what i mean so but they're going to they're going to come forward i don't even know if you know this person or not you might not even know this person but this person knows you um like it could even be this witch bitch's family i don't know who it is okay but it's you might know them you might be very close to this person i don't know who the fuck this person is but this person is a good person okay um they were just afraid but they're they're coming forward okay yeah they're in grief pain and sorrow agony they're they're in regret they're in regret that they didn't tell you this sooner it could be a masculine or a feminine okay they're a good person though um they did not have any parts with it they just knew about it they're in, they're in major regret that um they didn't tell you sooner they they i feel like also they were lied to about you as well and then they're like they, the truth and clarity has come out about it and now they feel really bad now they're, they're in deep emotional pain and they're regretting that they, they sat back and just let this happen and didn't say anything so they're coming forward with this information because they just can't sleep at night they're they're bothered by this like they're heavily bothered by this um 
So there they are. They're coming. They're coming in with this information. Okay, guys. Holy Spirit, fine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What is the color of the new moon? Thank you. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. Your money saved. Okay. All right. Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, but in here. Investment. Um. She might be in a church. She could definitely be in the church, this lady. Like I said, she's a good person. Um, she could be a religious person or a spiritual person herself. Um, but there's this cult coming, secret society, darkness, whatever dark side that this witch bitch over here that's been coming up against you who who, you know, has everything to do with stealing this inheritance, that um they blocked their forward movement. Okay, they're done. There's a lot of secrets in this church, cult coven, whatever the fuck this is. It's a secret society. You're going to get a message. She's going to tell you about them, too, I feel like. He or she, they're going to tell you about them, too. Someone's name could begin with a D, like either first, middle, or last. Um, getting Vic, Vicky, Victor, um, Victoria, um, you know, Vince, Vinny, Vander, Vanderbilt. That could be someone's name, last name, Vanderbilt. Isn't that German, Vanderbilt? I don't fucking know. It could be someone's name that's involved in this situation. It could be you or it could be somebody involved. Yeah, you're getting good luck and fortune, okay? You're getting good karma. And this is why they're coming in too, like, because they don't want no... Like, this is a good person. This is a very good moral person I'm sure I'm getting. Um, and I feel like she's like, it's like a church-going person. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's like a, you know... Um, she might not be a church. She might be. She might be part of the church. Um, I don't know, but there, there's a good person, there, it could, it could be a he too, it could be either one, but, um, they, they, I keep saying she, so it probably is a she, it doesn't have to be, for some of you, it might be, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, it could be maybe whoever your ex was with, I'm seeing an ex on here, maybe your ex is getting bad karma, um, maybe it's whoever they were with, whoever your ex was with after you or something, or maybe they're related, it could be even like your ex's daughter or your ex's mom or somebody like that. I feel like it's related to either this witch bitch or, like, maybe possibly your ex. That's why they're in such a weird, bad spot. Like, like I don't know why I'm picking up on your ex's daughter. Um, I don't know. For some of you, that's going to be the case. It's going to be your ex's, like, you know, it's, it's going to be, like, a family member of your of your ex. And this is why they, they were in such a weird position. Or it's going to be, like, a family member of this witch bitch. Or someone close to them. And that's why it was such a weird position. But they're just in deep emotional pain. They're in major regret. Because now, because they were lied to about you. You know, these people said that you were some evil, you know, devil worshiper. You're clearly not. Not at all. You work for God. You work for the divine. They know this now. And they're, that's why they're coming forward with this information to you. Because they just can't, like... They've been enlightened. They can't. They, they can't go on without telling you. And plus, they can get in a lot of trouble. They can, you know, they can literally go to federal prison for this. Even though they had no parts of it. Okay. Holy Spirit, fine spirit, angels, ancestors, and the ones that passed away. Temperance. Yeah, they could be an earth angel too. You're an earth angel. She now knows. He or she now knows you're an you're an earth angel. Um. It might, there might be a little bit of patience that needs to be taken here, but your money's protected, you're protected, okay? Um, or maybe she's getting divine guidance by an angel, okay? I'm only getting, there was like angel, your angels, you know, your, your ancestors or some like angels have been communicating, or maybe this is an angel coming to you. This could be an, an angel, an earth angel coming to you with the truth and clarity. You know what I mean? God's placing this person you know, just like how God placed you in here in this whole spot, like to take this, to be part of the, like, you know, the, the target pretty much to take these people down. And God has his earth angels in the justice system to be the ones to take these, like, actually do the physical takedowns. You know what I mean? Well, God's going to have his earth angel come through and, you know, that come through with the information to, you know what I mean? There's the, God has his earth angels all around, okay? In every air nest that this, this whole situation so that this all comes forward, okay? And she knows who you are. I'm strongly getting this. It might even be like an earth angel too. Um, you know what I mean? Or an earth angel, like, or, or like, like literally she's getting guidance from an, an, an angel, you know, from maybe from, you know, your ancestors or just like, you know, from, from maybe, um, Archangel Gabriel is, uh, is guiding her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It could, it could mean, I'm thinking of that, that show, um, Touched by an Angel. 
maybe it's like, you know what I mean? Remember that show back in the day, Trucked by an Angel? Um, that I feel like people that know you from your past, they, they think of you like that, like, you know, they've been very touched. You're, you're inspiring a lot of people. You're touching a lot of people's hearts, okay? Whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, um, or you're going to be, but I feel like you already are. You're a blessing in everybody's lives, and people know this, and this is why she's in deep, like, emotional pain. She's in, like, regret that she didn't come forward with this information sooner, but, um, she's going to be divinely guided to, okay? I'm slowly getting, I'm picking up on Archangel Gabriel, um, heavily, um, guiding her to you, all right? Or to to the justice system, whatever the situ the situ ugh, whatever the situation is, okay. She might even be the person, or this might even be the person that was in the justice system that was lied to. You know what I mean? Maybe they just were lied to about you. Uh, they could have did magic on this person. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something like that's happening, or this could be the the angel in the in the justice system that's bringing this all together as well. Something like that's happening, okay. Five of Swords. Because, yeah, look, people were smiling in her face, stabbing her in the back, doing the same thing, you know what I mean? That that uh, that they did to, you know, the same thing they did to you, and that's what she was afraid of. But she finally had, she finally been enlightened. She was ignoring it when the spirits was trying to tell her, like, look, dude, like, these people are no good. These people are no good. These are, they're doing to you the same thing that they're doing to the collective. And, you know, you can get caught up in this. You can do federal time because you knew about this. You need to go make this right. And, you know, she might be afraid that, like, you know, she's scared. She's she's so afraid of uh, the consequences, but she's going to balance it out. She, she's coming here. She's coming in. They're balancing it out. Now, I feel like she got, um, this person also got stabbed in the back by these people, too. And this is, like, the final thing, like, oh, shit. Like, this for these people are just so fucked up, you know what I mean? And now, and I feel like it was divinely orchestrated for that to happen, to get her to, to come, get the strength to come up and, uh, smile, you know, come in and, like, you know, give you the information, all right? This might even be, like, this could be, like, your ex's, I don't know why I'm picking up on, like, your ex's daughter, your ex's sister, your ex's mother, or something to do with your ex, I feel like. Maybe even the next person, maybe your your ex was, you know, dating this person, maybe this is one of his side pieces or something, um, his or hers, you know what I mean, put the roles where they fit. I'm just keep referring to her as her, because it's a, it's a woman on the card, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't have to be a woman, it could be a masculine, um, but you know what I mean? It could be like some, I feel like it's something like that, okay? Someone's name could definitely be Vic, or they can call her like Vix, like, you know, Vicky, like, you know what I mean? So I'm looking at this backwards, V-I-X, but like, you know, like Vic, like, v you know, you call Victoria, like, you know, V-I-C, you know, but, um, IV, okay? Somebody might be, need IV, somebody might be on IV drugs. Your ex might be um, taking IV drugs. They might be bound to some sort of IV drugs use. I'm feeling like getting. They might feel like they're trying to. They're doing some sort of magic to try to get you bound to some drugs to get you to do drugs. But I'm feeling like getting your ex. You're gonna find out. Maybe this is your your person's. You know your ex's. Um, maybe this is your ex's new person, and they caught them. They, maybe they feel like they're stepping back. Maybe they walked in on them, caught them cheat on them, or maybe caught them. Um, you know, doing an IV drugs, and this person's like a very moral person, they're not about that, um, and they're in like deep emotional pain and shit, and then they found out, they did more research and found out this person was stabbing them in the back too, and they see the truth, they see how you are this very divine being, you're, you're a spiritual leader, um, they realize that this person was just stabbing them in the back this whole time too, but I'm sure I'm kidding, you're gonna find out that your, your ex is on some sort of IV drugs, or they need an IV, they might be in like the hospital or something, they might, they might have some sort of illness, um, they might have some sort of illness that where they need, like, to take IV. But I'm still only getting, like, it's, like, IV drug, like, they're bound to it. Like, you see the chains, like, they're bound to this drug. Like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm still only getting. And the spirit, the spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective mean, though? Thank you, Spirit. Four of Cups. The Four. Okay, let me see here. The High Priestess, the Four. Someone's losing their gifts. This witch bitch, like I said, she's losing her gifts. The Four of Cups over top of the High Priestess. Uh, the Queen, I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse over top with, the, you know, the Four of Cups over top, the, the Queen of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess. She's losing her gifts, this, this witch bitch. She's losing her gifts because um, she's abused her gifts, okay? 
then she was using them to attack you. You're getting them. She was attacking your journey, your leap of faith. You took her leap of faith here in, um, in this new journey. And she's been attacking. She's been abusing her gifts and, dealing, you know, um, to to attack your leap of faith. And you're, you're in your purpose, okay? Um, what the fuck was that? Clyde? You're in your leap of faith, your new journey. All right? There, she was attacking you. Um, she's losing her gifts. And you might be getting them. All right? It's going to be balanced out. I'm sure we're getting, you might possibly be getting these gifts that she was abusing. Um, now, also, you have these people from your past that are upset because they they are they feel like they're losing out like they your ex and these people from your past also feel like they're they're in regret they're they're losing out on the opportunities um they realize that they see you on your leap of faith your new journey they see you are the spiritual leader you're spiritually gifted extremely gifted um and they're you know they're in deep emotional pain because they're losing out they realize like fuck i should have you're a whole earth angel i'm missing out on the whole earth angel what the fuck did i do and they see you being everything, being bounced down for you in your life, and seeing you about to be into this Queen of Pentacles energy. If you're not already, you could possibly already be. And these people in your past are like, "Fuck, man, I'm I'm missing out on all this because I want to pick this witch bitch over the Earth Angel." What the fuck was I thinking? And they're in regret. They're in major regret, major regret about this, especially your ex. This could be this Leo, the strength card. But yeah, you're you're getting like whatever you're in your leap of faith in your journey. Whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, you're getting more powerful. You're getting upgrades. You're getting stronger. All right, I'm getting like you might be getting like three new gifts possibly. You might get three new gifts that she stole. Um, that you know, you're stealing from her pretty much. Well, guys, stealing it from her and giving it to you because she abused. She's losing her. Say the four cups is like you know missing out on opportunities, losing out. All right, well it's this witch bitch. She's losing out. You're the earth angel. You're getting these gifts. Is what I'm strongly getting. I feel like you might end up getting three new gifts that you might not even know you have yet, or you're about to get them. You're going to get a message, you know. You're going to end up getting a message about it, okay? Somebody might even come through um, on, say, if you have whatever you're doing with this leap of faith, this new journey, all right? Say, if you are you have, a, um, we'll just keep it to, like, you know, tarot reading. We'll just use this easiest way to refer to. So you don't have to be a tarot reader. I'm just, you know, you don't have to have a platform. I'm just saying this is just easier to way to refer to this way. All right, just say if you um if you have a YouTube channel and you're a tarot reader, you might get a message um, about this money and everything. So she might even they might even try to balance the scales. That's another thing. They might try to balance the scales to make it right. Um, these people in the past because they're going through, through such bad karma, they might be trying to invest in you. Like they might end up giving you um. You're gonna get a message or like some sort of investment in your your leap of faith. Like you might get a uh, say if you have a YouTube channel, they might to try to balance out the scales here. They might be um giving you donations or something like that. Okay, this is what they're planning on doing this to try to because they misjudged you. So I feel like you might end up getting some sort of um I'm not sure when this is gonna happen, but it's people from your past because they're trying to balance out the scales. All right, so you're gonna get either a message from your on your leap like maybe they'll leave comments or something like. Um, words of encouragement, good things, something like that, or they're going to, I feel like it's money though, with the page pentacles, with the seven of, and the, um, seven of pentacles, I'm only getting it, start trying to balance out the scales, and it's coming, whatever the faith new journey you took, because they're getting really, really bad karma, and they know now, they intuitively know it's because they've been attacking you, and they're trying to lessen their karma, um, it might be this Leo, I'm not sure, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a water sign, or you could be one of these signs. Because every time I look at this strength card in this deck, I always think of a water sign. And a Leo, you know, the strength card is Leo, but then I also think of, like, a water sign because of the water. And this looks like a scorpion, so it could be a Scorpio. It reminds me of, like, you know, um, the scorpion, like the, um, like, um, fantasy Rob Deerdeck's, um, uh, what do you call it? Ridiculousness, how he has that mascot as the scorpion when they go back, you know what I mean? Um. That's what it reminds me of. So maybe either you're a water sign, or you could be a Scorpio or a Leo, or maybe that's one of the signs that are planning on doing this, okay? Because they're trying to lessen, they're they're trying to balance the scales, and if especially if they stole from you, they're gonna they have to make it right. They have to balance it out, okay? And they're gonna and karma's gonna whoop their ass until they do. So I'm strongly getting this is gonna happen. I'm not exactly sure when it's gonna happen. I feel like it's going to be happening really soon. Um, they might have already done this. I don't know. 
you might find out that like maybe if you had a donation you might find out it was somebody from your past okay um, maybe they had there's somebody else you might pay somebody else to do it so you don't know it's them but they're because they know they have to balance the scales out okay they're trying to you know they're trying to do that because karma's fucking them up really bad right now and that's like the only way that to do it because it has to be balanced out you know what i mean it's what they're putting out in the world so if they're putting out negativity and they stole from you they have to replace what they stole from you all right because karma's gonna whoop their ass until they do and I feel like that's what somebody's going to be doing here. And if you don't have, like, but if you don't have a platform, say you have, like, a, I don't know, you have a fucking shop, all right? Say you have, like, your own store, they'll, and if, like, you know, if you, if it's just your store and you don't, you don't have any other employees, they're probably going to send somebody else into your store to buy stuff from you or something, you know what I mean? Something like that's going to happen. Or if, like, you know, whatever the situation is, they're going to do something where, where they are trying to balance out the scales. Spirit, divine spirit, the angels, the ancestors, and loved ones have passed away. Because now they have people stealing from them and shit too, because it's their karma, and it's going to keep happening until they balance it out. Until they make, they give back what they stole from you. You know what I mean? Especially if they're not, and like they're, and I feel like they're going to do that. They're going to end up doing that. Um, I don't know if they're going to have everything that they stole from you. Um, and it's a bunch of different people from your past, so, like, maybe, like, still, like, I feel like maybe they're gonna be like, alright, let me test this out, see what happens, they're gonna give you, you know, what they can, and, like, they'll keep just, like, donating is what I feel like is gonna happen, because, like, they're gonna donate, and then they're gonna see, um, or they're gonna buy a product from you or something, and they're gonna see their karma's not gonna be as bad, and they're gonna keep doing it, and they're gonna realize, like, oh, shit, duh, this is what I need to do, so you're telling me, like, oh, it's all funny, I, I, I do need to collect it, or I bought the collectibles, you know, whatever it was, and, um, you know what I mean, and then, all of a sudden, like, karma wasn't, you know, I didn't get robbed that many times this week, you know what I mean, like, and, like, karma didn't fuck me up that bad, so they're gonna keep doing it until it gets balanced out, you know what I mean, because there's a bunch of people from your past that did you dirty, that owed you money, and I feel like that's what's gonna happen, but also, like, the people who stole your inheritance, though, <laughs> That's not, these are just other people that were coming up against you. The people that you know, stole your inheritance, that's a lot of fucking money. They're, the, the feds are already on to them. <laughs> All right, it's a tower, it's chaos, destruction on people, mayhem. You're going to get a message too about, um, hold on a second, we got the, the tower card and then the Knight of Pentacles. Fuck me, man, I, my stories are about to come out. All right, you're going to get a message too, some information about, the, the, you know, maybe she's going to tell you the, the, good, the good person, you know, the, the good person that's coming in with, in with the information. They're going to tell you about how, you know, about all the chaos that these people playing, what they were investing in, trying to, 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 um, to come up against your, your leap of faith, your new journey, and what all they did, okay, and how they're in, like, this chaos destruction of people and mayhem now. She's coming forward with this message, okay, and like I said, these people from your past who've been doing you dirty, they're trying to balance out the scales because they're going through, like I said, towers, and they're just racking up all this karma, like, this is all their karma, they're racking up. And they're trying to lower the karma. They're trying to make the karma, you know, they're balancing it out. So they're, I feel like they're going to try and invest in you. All right. Something about like that's happening. It could be this group called Coven. This whole group called Coven Secret Society. They're they're in chaos, destruction, like people in mayhem. All right. You're going to get some sort of, and like, like I said, the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be getting information and like some sort of proposal, some sort of, I don't know, um, um, money of something, like a job offer possibly. Um or like they're just gonna come in and like buy your products or or donate to you or something like that okay and it's to balance the scales out because they're, they're in chaos destruction of people and mayhem they're trying to balance it out and they're losing out on opportunities and everything and people are robbing them because it's, it's their karma coming back to them so they're trying to to um to you know wait to, to, to balance things out all right you're gonna get some sort of proposal or like um like that's gonna happen you're gonna get some information about this too you're gonna get a raise or something like that. Something like that. You're gonna get money coming in, okay? Three of Wands. Yeah, your ships are coming in, okay? They're coming. And they feel like they're living on the edge. That's why they're trying to, they're like, they're afraid to move. They're like, oh my god, look at that drop. Like, if I move the smallest little move, like, they feel like they're on top of here, but it's this high. Do you know what I mean? And they're like trying to balance on. They're like, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? And they're like, all right. You need to make it right. You need to balance the scales, okay? If you don't want to fall off this edge, you need to go in. You need to go bring them ships into the collective. You need to make it right, and that's what they're doing. Some people are going to start donating to you or buying your fucking products or going to, um, or whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts. Or they'll, they're going to start investing in you, all right? In one way, they might not, they might not let it, let it be known that it's them, 
they might even have like their friend do it or have like you know hide behind like a, a open up a different account change their name on the account and like you know get like a prepaid card and then do something like that like you know, to donate whatever something like that's going to happen um for some use um and like also like whoever stole this inheritance so they're getting arrested they're going to fucking prison <laughs> they're going to prison and you're getting your shit back but you're going to get something like that's going to start happening so just be patient it's coming in okay <laughs> confirmation double confirmation meaning like those like that's yeah they're going to like you know people are involved in stealing it it's getting you know that that's coming in and also you know you're going to be getting you know money coming in as well or like a proposal a job offer um and um uh a raise or something like that as well okay holy spirit divine spirit angels angels that person and you're gonna get some payout too from the chaos that these people caused you you're gonna sue them and you're gonna get like pain suffering and i feel like there was like some sort of major tower moment in your life that these people caused say if you had a house and your house burnt down these people did it they say like you had an accident these people did it you're getting a major payout from this okay you get a major lawsuit from this as well and plus you're going to sue them for stealing your inheritance and everything else you're like you're going to these people this, in this whole place this whole like you're going to be getting like you're, you're going to see just watch just be patient it's coming in just trust me it's coming in right guys when is it coming in i'm not exactly 100 percent sure because some of you you're going to need a little bit more patience like you're all on different um timelines so it all like it depends on where you are on your timeline um, again, this is a collective reading, but it is coming in for you. You might start seeing, like, sporadic, like, you know, um, money coming in here and there, or, you know what I mean? Things are just being bounced out, and God's making sure, like, you know, you're still going to be taken care of no matter what's going on. You're being taken care of. You're going to, you're going to make ends meet, um, no matter what your situation is. God does never forgot about you. You know, he always provides, you know, like, he always does, um, but like you're gonna see you you you'll know what I'm talking about. I just depends. Like some of you, this shit might happen tomorrow for you. You know what I mean? Some of you, it might it might it might take a little bit longer. It all depends what time, where you're at in your timeline, okay? Because everybody's on different timelines. Seven of Cups. You're gonna have many opportunities. Like I said, you're gonna get many different money opportunities, many different like you know job um many options like job offers like or. You know, whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, you're, you're going to start, your your business is going to start picking up is pretty much what I'm saying, alright? If you're a medium and you do, like, a psychic like medium or whatever, people are going to come in and start booking, like, you know, um, they're going to want your services, you know what I mean? If, you, if you're if you um, a motivational speaker, um, people are going to start booking you, you know what I mean? You're going to get more more bookings, like, whatever you do, okay, whatever it is, like, it's different, if you're a reader, if you do personal readings, a lot of people are pausing on the personal readings right now, there's a reason for that, um, you know, we're being told not to do that right now, for most of us, it's to protect our energy, but, um, if you are still doing, you know, um, personal readings, um, then you're gonna get a lot of people asking you for personal readings, and guys, just so you know, I am not doing personal readings right now, I will let you know when I do, I will eventually be doing it, um, but I'm waiting till I get my LLC, and right now, anyway, I'm being told not to, I'm being told not to do it for protection, um, and if you notice, if you watch other readers, a lot of other readers, they stop doing it as well, it's because we're being told not to, because there's some sort of, um, there's, you know, some warfare going on, some spiritual warfare, and right now, we're just being told to hold our energy back, okay, not everybody is, um, but I'm, I, I listen to my guidance, so, I know I was told not to, and I see a lot of other people were being told as well. Um, you might not have been, so don't feel like you have to stop doing that. You can just ask God first, okay? Maybe it's just us because we were the ones being attacked. So um, if you were not told not to, then continue doing whatever you do, okay? And if you're worried about it, go ask God if you should if you need to protect your energy or not, okay, guys? And to the new people that are just starting out too, okay? Um, before you start doing personal readings, um, ask, make, get the authority from God first, okay, because there's a reason, all right, um, they, you gotta be careful, you gotta protect your en energy when you're doing personal readings for people, um, and make sure you're not under spiritual attack while you're doing this, because there, you'll have people coming in, smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, they're gonna pretend they want a reading, and they're just trying to get into your energy, okay, so be aware of that, okay, and just get clearance from God um, before you start doing personal readings, all right? I'm not saying that you can't. I'm just trying to help you and protect you, okay? 
Um, everybody that knows me knows how I am. I'm always trying to help everybody. I always, you know, that's part of my mission is to help, you know, and to guide you on the right, the right divine path and, you know, protect you. So just make sure you do, I mean, if you're okay with doing it, then by all means necessary, go ahead, but just be aware of that. Okay. And just take it up, you know, ask God first, meditate on it, find out if you, if it's okay for you to do, just be aware that there is people that can, they'll, they'll try to, um, you know, they'll try to attack you and they'll, they'll, they'll book readings to try for, to manipulate you, okay? So be very, 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 very aware of that and to get into your energy because some people are blocked out of your energy and the only way they can get in is if you invite them in, you know what I mean? So just be very, be very careful of that. But I'm being told, obviously, in any way until I got my LLC, but also um, it, I'm still waiting until I get the clearance too that it's, it's you know, it's okay to do because... Uh, as of right now, I'm being told not to. The moon, yeah, see exactly. A lot of a lot of fucking betrayals, a lot of lies, a lot of um, and a lot of um, you know, bullshit magic and manipulation and shit people are doing. You're getting a lot of opportunities. Be careful though, what opportunities you you take. Like I said, like I was just telling you, be careful because there's somebody that's trying to trick you. There's something, and there's also some sort of hidden, um, there's some sort of hidden money that's coming in. There's something. It's like a hidden investment or something. There's something hidden that's coming in. So hidden opportunities. Maybe you don't see it. It might not, maybe it's just hidden, like you're not seeing it. I feel like you're having more opportunities than you realize, and it's just, you're not seeing them. So be aware of them, okay? And, but be careful of the manipulative, the, you know, the manipulative ones, the ones that are not good for you, all right? Like I said, always go inward um, and ask God first, okay? Always meditate on there. Somebody needs to meditate more. And your answers are always inside of you, guys. Anything in any situation, the answer is inside of you. You just need to start meditating more and go in and get the answer and you'll get it. Ask and you shall receive, all right? And you're also getting a lot of payouts too. If you're like, you're going to have a lot, you're going to be suing a lot of people from all the manipulation and everything. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones have passed away. Somebody could be into numerology. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're getting, um, somebody's nervous, they're nervous, but, like, they're coming forward with some information for you, but they're nervous. It's her, it's her, she's nervous. She's nervous, but she's coming in, okay, or he or she, whatever, you know, the person that's coming in with the information that was, you know, she's, they're innocent, this person's innocent, it's just they knew about this, they're nervous about it, but they're coming in with the information, okay? The devil, of course, he's fucking pussy, alright, um. It's your ex or whoever says these people in established energy, okay? And you're being everything's being balanced out. They're obsessed with blocking you, trying to stop you, make you miss out on opportunities. And she's nervous because, or this person's coming in from in, with this information. They're fucking nervous. They're nervous because you know these people from your past in established energy, and she knows about this per this witch bitch, you know, in established energy. Like she's fr she's scared to death of this person, but you're okay. And they're trying to, but this witch bitch. Is being blocked. This is what I'm saying about this, you know, with the personal readings things. Look, there's a devil card here and the high priestess right here. Your energy is blocked, okay, um, from this witch bitch here and these people from your past. They're not allowed in your energy. So be careful if you are if you are a reader and you're doing personal readings because they're blocked from your, your energy. So they're going to try and hide behind, like, fake shit. And if you all do personal readings, what I'm going to do when I do personal reading, guys, um, if when people ask me for a reading, I'm not going to go by whatever name they tell me. What I'm, when I'm doing a reading, I'm going to ask, I'm like, what is, um, you know, what does Divine Messenger 144K, you know, and I'm going to say, you know, the person behind Divine, I'm going to say whatever the screen name is. Because you can be careful, like, be careful, because somebody can say, hey, I'm Misty, and, like, so my name's Misty, but really their name is Jennifer, and they're just trying to get information on, on Misty, you know what I mean? So be careful of that, and I feel like that's what's gonna, that's what somebody's doing. That's what somebody's doing. I feel like someone's going to another reader pretending to be you and they're getting your information. But a good reader will know, a good practitioner or, or, or whoever they're going to, a reader will know to to not not go by the person's name because there could be someone just pretending to be uh, another person. But I feel like that's what they've been doing and that's why they're in trouble. That's abuse, that's, you know, they're, that's, they're in trouble for that. Everything's going to be balanced out with that, okay? But they were paying good money to do this too. Yeah, four of pentacles, right? They're obsessed with trying to hold on to you. It's a complete it's the end of a cycle, 1010, 10, of them holding on to this inheritance that belongs to you. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, almost passed away. What is the outcome for this number? King 
king of wands. Yeah, you're the one. You're planning your whole new world. You're you you're extremely powerful. You're extremely um you're like whatever you're doing with your your the groups and like this group cult secret society coven. They know that you have they, how powerful you truly are. All right, they got the message that you are you know divine. You are connected directly to God. Your ex is having like an issue with fucking you know, and your people from the past are taking it like hard. Uh, they're like refusing to like in this witch bitch. They're like refusing to like accept this, but they only have to. They got the message. No, you are you are very powerful in your spiritual gifts. You and you are not to be fucked with. All right, nine of wands. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting their ass beat because whatever they sent to you they were told not to fuck with you they didn't listen they didn't they couldn't believe that you could be that powerful well now they, whatever they sent to you is going back to them so they're having some sort of spiritual ass whooping physical ass whooping uh physical mental emotional or spiritual ass whooping what is the outcome of this situation thank you spirit Queen of Swords, yep, you got your fucking sword up, as you should, from these people, and because you kept your sword up, okay, you dodged a fucking bullet, okay, you had your past person, your, uh, somebody from your past, it could have been your ex, or it could have been people from this group cult, Secret Society, that was trying to come in, they're trying to snake their bitch asses in to you, but thank God, they're only, they're, thank God, um, you you kept your sword up to them. You you denied the call. You denied the text message. You blocked them. Whatever the situation was, you didn't let them in. You kept your guard up with this person. And because you did that, you're going to have many opportunities coming your way because they were planning that um to finish the job is what they were doing. And they realized because you did this, because they did some sort of magic like come to me spells and um love spells um and they now know this group called Coven and plus a bunch of other shit too. But now they realize oh shit. Like, they are who they say they are, or they they really are, you know, very powerful and divine, and they are not to be fucked with, because, you know, there's no way that if, if you weren't, then you should have, you should have had your guard down, okay, with what they were doing, um, whatever magic they're sending you, not only did, like, not only the come to me spells and love spells and everything, and, but that was just one incident, you kept your guard up, and they're like, wait, what the fuck you mean, like, how the fuck is that possible? Like I just put went and got went to the best practitioner. My left ear is ringing, but I went to the best practitioner around. Spent so much money on this conf double confirmation, um, and and yet you still have your sword up. There's no possible way. And then they're coming to realize, like people are like, well, dude, I told you to fucking leave the collective alone or not to be fucked with. But your dumbass ex and these people from your past just could not um, fathom the thought that you know. They, they, they couldn't believe it. They were like, there's no possible way. No, 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 no way. And plus, like, whatever they're sending out to you, they are, and they also, whatever that big chaos was that happened recently that they planned, they purposely did this, maybe you got kicked out of a house, whatever it was, they, they staged something purposely, and it was to get you um, off balance where they would have, like, they thought for sure you were going to be off balance, and then just when they got up in some really dark energy, and they, they, they conjured up something really dark, really powerful, sent it to you at that time, thinking that you're off balance, and they were watching you, they're spying on you, they realized, oh, fuck, like, you're not affected by it, it's 